Hey guys, what's up? I am here again and today I'm going to be doing a review on a foundation. Yep, that's right. A review. Okay. Alright guys, um, hope you guys are having a good day. Today I will be talking about a foundation. This is the Quo Foundation. Right there. This is the Quo Luminous Finish Foundation uh, with an SPF of 15. This is in the shade 4. Now I actually have two shades. I have the shade 4 and 5. I'm gonna see which one kind of works better with my skin tone. I have a feeling I will be using the 4 instead of the 5 because the 4 has more of an olive yellow undertone and this 5 foundation shade is more of a pinkish type of color. So I have a feeling I will be using the 4 today. Real quick, I'm gonna show you guys a swatch of the two of them. So you guys can kind of get an idea on them. So uh, you guys can see the consistency. It's not too thick, it's not too thin, it's kind of like right in between. So that's the 5 right there. Here I can see that it does have a more pinkish undertone. I usually go for more olive yellow type of color. So I'm gonna try the number 4 now. The same consistency and you guys can see right there. This is the 5 and this is the 4. So the 4 definitely has more of a yellow olive undertone which is the undertone I have in my skin tone. This is my natural skin tone. I do not fake tan or anything like that so I know which undertones work for my skin and which ones don't. I will be trying out the number 4 today and yeah the number 5 it just wouldn't look good with my skin tone. I'm going to start off with priming the face. I'm going to be using my Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. I'm just going to be applying a little bit onto the face. Just onto these areas to mattify and just prime for what I'm about to put on my face, okay? I'm going to get started with my Beauty Blender. I just placed some product onto this little plastic thing that I use. I'm gonna get started with dotting it onto my skin. I'm gonna go use my beauty blender and I'm just gonna start pouncing it on. I think it's a really cool idea that it does have an SPF included in the formula foundation because as anybody out there you want to protect your skin from sun. Okay, by just Pouncing that onto this side of my face. I can tell it does have that luminous type of finish. I think you guys can see on the camera. It's just very like kind of dewy and it just looks really nice and natural and lightweight. I don't feel like I'm wearing a foundation. Like it feels really, really lightweight on the skin. However, it does feel a little bit sticky, just a tiny bit. And I'm gonna do a different type of method on the other side of my face. I'm gonna be taking uh, foundation brush by e.l.f. This is just a professional foundation brush. Also the coverage, I would say, is like a light to medium coverage. So it did cover up redness and whatnot, but it's not like a full, full coverage, which I dig it. I, I don't really like a really full coverage type of foundation, so I really dig the way that it's looking. It just looks really natural and flawless on your skin. So I'm gonna move on to the other side. I'm just gonna show you guys real quick so you guys can see the difference. So this is the side with no foundation. As you can see, I do have some redness on my cheeks, and then this side just looks more evened out. Okay, I'm just going to be taking some onto my foundation brush, about that much, just to start off with. I'm just going to go ahead and paint it. Sometimes you might get more coverage using a brush, so that's why I wanted to try both methods on this video just to see which one gives me more coverage or if it looks different you know what i'm saying always make sure if you're using a brush to brush it downwards because everybody has facial hair so you don't want the peach fuzz or anything like that to be like really noticeable on the skin, especially when you're wearing foundation. You definitely want to make sure you bring it in a downward motion, okay? So just by brushing it onto the face, um, I can tell that it looks really, really beautiful. It doesn't look cakey. Um, it just kind of blends with the skin. I don't know how to describe it, but it just 
blends in with the skin and it looks really really flawless I'm actually really digging it so I'm gonna just go ahead and finish and I'll be right back Alright, so like I said, I usually like to use this method. I'll use the brush first, and then I'll go in with the Beauty Blender and just pound it on. And I really like the way it makes the foundation look. Always bring it down to your neck, just to make sure everything matches, you know? I think you guys can see through the camera the coverage it gives and just how nice and natural it looks on the skin. I think it looks flawless. The color matched pretty darn good. Like You guys can see the color is pretty spot on. It does have a luminous finish like it says on the bottle. It looks really natural on the skin. But it still gives you that like lightweight coverage which if you want this for like a everyday type of look this is definitely something I would go for. So, um, my final thoughts on this foundation. Um, I will definitely give it a pretty good review. I think it's a really good foundation for just a natural type of look. It does look really nice on the skin. It looks really nice and natural. I do like the fact that it does have an SPF in the foundation because I know that if you're doing, you know, a really quick type of look and you don't want to go through moisturizer and SPF and all these bullshit things that you have to use on your face um, it's really good just to take your foundation like put your moisturizer if you're gonna use a primer or something and then your foundation with the SPF it's just really really great just to throw it on and bounce it on with your beauty blender or whatever you're using I think that's awesome the packaging like I said is really nice and sleek the bottle is glass which I think is really nice as well it does come with a pump which I mean, not having a pump is a pain in the ass, alright? Overall, I do really like it. I like it so far. I think the color that I used, the number 4, is perfect for my skin tone. And it just, it, it blended really nicely. It doesn't look cakey. It doesn't feel cakey. Like, it's very lightweight on the skin. It almost feels like I'm not wearing anything. So yeah, I really like it. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup and go about my day and I think I'm going to be doing some check-ins like I'll check in with you guys in a couple hours just to see how it's holding up, how it looks, if you know I got oily more than usual or if just like it completely rubbed off or whatever you know what I'm saying. I hope you guys stay tuned and I'll see you guys in a bit. Um, so I'm back here to do kind of a quick update on how the foundation is holding up. I do have to say I really did enjoy the foundation today. I think it looks really nice and flawless. Yeah, I really do like the foundation. I think it's holding up really well. Um, there's my highlight. It's really nice and luminous, as I said. And just overall, like, it's a really good foundation. Um, I would definitely recommend it. Um, I do have a combination to oily skin and even then it didn't make me oily or anything whatsoever. It just, it's been holding up really well. So I am really liking it. I am planning to go to the gym. So I think I'm gonna kind of leave it and just see like for real how it holds up. You know what I'm saying? Like that's the real test. So I did check online and I think it was around like $8.99. So I mean plus tax and whatever it's a pretty affordable foundation so the fact that it holds up and it just kind of went on throughout the day really nicely it's a really good thing it's from the drugstore so yeah I think that's it for now um I'll probably do another check-in when I come back from the gym if I'm not looking too crazy or whatever and I'll give you guys my final you know thoughts on this cool foundation see you soon What's up guys? I am back here. I just wanted to kind of tell you guys how my foundation held up throughout the day. I went to the gym, I sweated like a pig and it's still like you guys can still see everything. You guys can see my highlight, you guys can see a little bit of my contour and blush. My eyeshadow is, I mean it's still there. 
I used my eyeshadow base, the concealer, and so it's still there. But yeah, I really like this foundation overall. I think it's a really good foundation for the price. Like I said, you can get it at any drugstore. So I definitely, I like it. I think it's a really good foundation. So if you guys get a chance to try it out, try it out and let me know how it goes. But yeah, I think that's it. Alright, see you later.